Hey guys, Rob here with the McDojo Life, and today we're breaking down pictures, pretty pretty pictures, because the owner of the video that I keep trying to post keeps hitting it up for copyright infringement. So I can't do the actual video, but I can break down the pictures and just add the link to the real video in the description. So let's start off with the very first thing. All right. So this particular video is from, or this this particular video that I'm breaking down in picture form is from a place called Five Minute Crafts. Now, Five Minute Crafts should just stick with the crafts because their martial arts is terrible. So let's break down why here. Now, if you look, the very first uh, scenario here is a person being grabbed from behind. Now, once they are grabbed from behind, uh, we go and move on to what their solution was to grab a very specific nerve. Now, the nerve that they say to grab is what they call the sciatic nerve. Now, unfortunately for them, one, their anatomy is way off. The sciatic nerve that they're saying is the sciatic nerve is actually your femoral nerve. Ooh, it's located right there on the in the front of the leg. If you're talking about the one that would be located in the back of the leg, the back of the leg is the sciatic nerve, not the front of the leg. So one, you're a whole bunch of stupid on that one. But two, grabbing somebody in the by the leg is not going to make them release the grip that they have a hold of you. As a matter of fact, once you start fighting them, now the grip is probably going to tighten and now they're going to probably escalate the situation. You need to address the grips, not address the leg. So let's continue down this path of stupidity that they put forward for millions of ladies to see and unfortunately fall trapped to. What happens next, you say? Oh, well, here we go. Somebody has grabbed us by the neck aggressively. So what do we do? Punch them? Kick them? Hell no. I know what we should do instead. We should just go ahead and just grab them by the bicep because that's going to work. That's going to just create just such a strong pressure in the arm that rather than them holding on to us, they will for some odd reason fall over because why? I mean, obviously they have legs, right? They could catch themselves, but your grip has to be that strong. No, that's stupid. The bicep right here, you're saying that if you grab somebody and pinch them by that particular part of the arm, that they will literally fall over is what their video is saying. Not going to happen. This person obviously outweighs you by at least 50 pounds. This would not be my go-to. Let's continue down the path of stupid. I know there I am minding my own business. Bam! Purse snatcher runs up, grabs my purse. Now, what you probably should do is just give them the damn purse because there's nothing in your purse more valuable than your life. You can cancel credit cards, whatever money is in there, probably even if it is a lot, you can earn some more, but at least you have your help. But I know what we should do instead. Why should we let them have the purse when instead we can grab them by the shoulder? Oh, yeah. And then after grabbing him by the shoulder, why not give him another one, two by kicking him in the groin? Why the hell would you go from grabbing the shoulder to kicking the groin? Don't you think that instead of grabbing the shoulder and then kicking the groin, maybe you should just kick the groin first? I would think that. Let's get rid of the shoulder. Let's just go right to the groin kicking. It makes way more sense. But still, you shouldn't be fighting so much over that in that way. And what do they call it? It is the brachial plexus. Actually, they nailed that one. Good job on you for saying it right, at least. Now, next scenario, somebody grabs our wrist. Now, out of the thousands of different ways to get a grip break, right, to break someone's grip, what is what do they go to? They go to pinching the hand, right? So they grab your wrist, you pinch the hand. Why is this dumb? Well, they pick the one place that actually isn't going to hurt that bad. What does it do for you instead by pinching that particular area? It relieves stress. <laughs> if you're going to go by pressure points, right, and you're going to teach pressure points by squeezing that fleshy part between your index finger and your thumb, it actually reduces stress. So what are you going to do? You're going to ease them into a false sense of comfort before they leave you alone. Also really dumb. All right, let's keep moving down this path. Somebody grabs us by the waist. Hey, a little aggressive. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know you that way. So what do we do? Poke them in the eye? Nah, that's ridiculous. What we should do instead is should we should grab this tiny little area right behind their ear and push into it. What do they call it? It is the lymph node right behind the ear or right under the ear in that soft little space. Dumb. You just bypassed the one thing that will actually hurt, which is their eyeball with your thumbnail. And instead, you've gone just to poking them in the neck and being really irritating. Good job, five minute crafts. You guys are amazing. If you guys want to check out that entire video of ridiculousness that they have, I pray that one day they take it down. Um, I would say click the link in the description below. Thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions, and all that other crap that YouTube people tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit.